All right, so now we're at an even lower pressure. Get this stood up. Um, and when I hit it a second ago, the fluorescence on the walls of the container was very strong. So I'm stood back a little bit. I'm just wondering if I'm going to get some x-rays. It's strong enough, the electric field is strong enough that it's actually moving the ball physically um, in the chamber in this deep vacuum. So, it's probably not a deep vacuum, but it's a, a pretty darn good medium vacuum. Just to show you how low of a pressure we were just at, I'm going to go ahead and let some air in. There you can see the mean free path um, hanging around that ball there. So I'm going to go ahead and let it pump down now. You can watch that core like shrink down real tiny. so strange. The colors in person are 100% different than on the camera. So you can see how it's transitioning now. Got a movie date in about 15 minutes, so I can't really keep messing around with this, but I think it's pretty sweet. So I can't leave the thing on and achieve an extremely low pressure for some reason. I don't know why that is. Um, I can't just let it run and achieve really low pressures. I guess it's, I don't know, metal vaporizing or something, I'm not sure. But it's really annoying because I love seeing the, the, uh, what is it, the evolution of the plasma. Oh man, I thought for a second there that I was getting a central star point, but it's, uh, it's actually just a plasma jet, so. I'd say that's actually not bad for mason jar fusion, <laughs> or demo fusion, I should say. Hopefully going to upgrade to the helium tank as a chamber once I use all the helium in it. Um, I think that would make for uh, actually a pretty sweet chamber. So I'm going to disconnect this for a second. Let this uh, kind of really pump down for a second. And we'll show you. Focus. 
This always happens with high voltage in my camera. Alright, well, thanks for watching.